Hello, Modelay enthusiasts, and welcome to Australia. Um, I've just got a question regarding this 1930 Model A Ford. I've got, I've had it for maybe five years, but some time ago I realised there's a bit of an issue going on with the front cross member on the chassis or frame here. Uh, the thing that I've noticed is that this front mounting bolt for the front shock absorber, uh, I've had the shock absorbers off once before and the, the holes where the shock absorbers are bolted into appear to be the normal locations for the shock absorbers, but underneath it, where I'll go now, I'll try and get you guys to be able to see, um, underneath here, obviously that's the rear and that's the front, um, bolt for the shock absorber, but the rear of the cross member here has been hacked out with a oxyacetylene torch at some stage. I really doubt that the factory would have done that. <laughs> uh, I'll show you on the other side. You can probably see a bit better on the on the passenger side of our cars or the driver's side for you guys in the in the states. But yeah, you can see it's really been hacked out here. Um, and it's also been welded with a very dodgy looking weld underneath here. So I've seen on other videos that the cross member is supposed to be riveted in and um, it's got two holes here. That hole there appears, to, oh, sorry with my hairy arm in the way, <laughs> that, that hole there lines up with a hole in the chassis. It hasn't got a rivet in it obviously, that one doesn't. And there is also holes on either side underneath the cross member that don't line up with any holes in the cross member. And it appears to me that the cross member is sitting back maybe half an inch too far. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to work out what's going on with this cross member and um, whether it's been installed in the incorrect position. Uh, it's got very hacked out holes for the radiator mounts, even though the radiator at the top uh, lines up pretty well perfectly with the hood and the hood lines up with the body. So yeah, that's sort of been a bit butchered as well. Um, but another thing that makes me think that the cross member may be in the incorrect position is, uh, despite the fact that it's a Model B engine and it's got floater motor mounts on it, which I know a lot of you guys hate, um, and it's also got a later model um, wishbone ball mount, but when I have the wishbone disconnected and it's and it's up on the hoist, so the suspension is at full hang, but when I have the wishbone disconnected, the ball is about half an inch aft of where it's supposed to uh, be. And I'm not sure if that's just the fact that the suspension is at full hang and the caster is forcing it back or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, I have to put a big crowbar in and lever against the front axle to be able to get some alignment on here to be able to put that cap back on. So to me, it looks like the cross member is in the wrong position uh, and whether or not it's worthwhile pulling it all apart and um, relocating it or finding a better cross member or what do you guys reckon? What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know if you could. Thanks very much, guys.